Hello everybody, my name is Sasha, this is Wendy and today we are going to show you how to draw a moth. First we're going to need our paper. Next we're going to need our pen. Thank you Wendy. Alright, for our moth we are going to start with the top of the wings and so we're going to draw a nice big arch shape. Just like so, nice curved line. Next, we're going to try and find the middle of this and we're going to draw a rounded square. So it's not quite a circle, it's more square shaped with rounded corners. So we're going to come up right in here and we're going to draw a curve, come down, back over, then over, like so. Next we're going to draw the body. So this is the head, these are going to be the wings and we're going to draw the body. The body is going to be carrot shaped. So we're going to start inside, come around, down around and down. <clears throat> so we've got a carrot shaped body, nice and big, they've got fluffy big bodies. Next we're going to draw a straight line right down from the point, like so. Alright, let's go ahead and start one side of the wing. What we're going to do is we're going to come, let's say we're going to come at the end here. We're going to curve down and in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and try and make it about the same as this, as best you can. If you need to, you can always take your fingers you can put your finger on the end here and on this line, hold it, pick it up and make sure it's as close as the same as possible. If you have a big gap, close it up. Um, if you have a longer side, then make it longer, shorten it, all that fun stuff. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to find this corner right here. We're going to come out around and then we're going to come down and connect. So it's a curve out coming down and we're going to curve around and connect. So we want it to be rounded. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go out, down, so out, sorry, down and around to connect. Now it's not going to be perfect, just try your best to get them as similar as possible. Right, so these are the one set of big wings. Now we're going to draw the bottom part of the wings. This one's a little simpler. We're going to start right in the middle here and we're going to draw a nice big curved line all the way up. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side we're going to try and make them look as similar as possible. Like this. Now let's start adding in our details. We're going to start in the middle, right in this corner. And we're going to draw a nice oval type shape. We're going to come down and back up. We're going to come down and back up. We're going to make it have really big, beautiful eyes. It's a pattern. And what that is, is it's there to keep predators. So things that want to eat it, it makes itself look bigger than it actually is. So we're going to make really big circles. One. Two, and we're going to make them look like eyes. So we're going to do a little circle and a larger one inside. 
going to do a little circle and a larger one inside. Don't those look like big, beautiful eyes? Let's go ahead and add in another couple little things. We're going to start right in here. We're going to do a nice curved line. The same on the other side. So moths and butterflies are symmetrical. For the most part, there are imperfections, but they're about the same on both sides. So whatever you do on one side, you want to make sure you do on the other. Let's continue. Right where these kind of line up, you're going to do another curved line going down, and it's going to come down, and then curve the other way to the point. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, and if you need to, if you'll notice, this one's up a little bit higher on this side for my picture. So I want these wings to look as close as possible. So I'm going to take my pen where I started here. I'm going to bring it over. And that's how I know I need to start it right around there. So I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to curve to the point. Let's go ahead and add in some stripes. Please remember, if you are having a hard time keeping up, the wonderful thing about technology is you can pause. You can pause my channel, you can catch up, and then you can hit play again. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to try and do the same on this side. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I do notice that this is much bigger. So if you need to go over one or do less than one, that's not a big difference. It only really matters when you've got when you go to color in, but you can always fix that with your colors. Next, we're going to do another little pattern inside here. We're going to do three bumps that are long. So we're going to do one, two, three. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do one, two and three all we have left is the body and the antenna the body is going to have curved lines because his body is round so we're going to do nice lovely round lines and now this type of moth they have very fluffy big antenna so we're going to come up in here. We're going to come towards the middle. We're going to go up and out. And we're going to create one, two, three bumps as we come back in. So we're going to go out. And you're going to come back in one, two, three. Just like this. Now, please keep in mind that the eyes would actually be on the other side, so you wouldn't see them on here, but that doesn't mean you don't need to draw them. If you would like to put some beautiful little eyes in here, you most definitely can. But this is it for now. I would love to see what you create and what colors you choose. Don't forget to post. Thank you, everybody, for watching our video today. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you'll come back, share with your friends, but until next time, I'm Sosha, this is Wendy, bye bye!